Did you put in those cinnamon in there? I think it's too much cinnamon. Because actually the cinnamon is overtaking the chocolate. It's different, it's risky. It's okay. That is brutal. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's disappointing. Oh dear God, here we go. 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 Too much Italian meringue. Okay. It's too sweet. Really? Far too sweet. Okay. Because you've got the caramel, you've got, you've got the meringue on the top, you've got the chocolate, you've got everything else there. It's underbaked. Yeah. So you've got a few problems here. Okay. Yeah. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We need to get them out of there, don't we? Yeah. Initially, I had two trays of brownies and then one of them. Who wants to be added? Um, if you wanna be added by me, just the request. You see, she's catching up with friends. <clears throat> There's barely people I even know here. What the heck? I promise, I'm not here for problems. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, what's happening? Let's see. I'm slightly avoiding the topic of Anna, that would be very sweet. But I will, I think it's really good, right? Thank you. The biscuit base is too thick. I like the flavour. Guys, I'm not here for problems, so. Hey. Hello there. <laughs> I can comment on the video. You can comment why? Oh, I think we're not friends. We're not friends. Yeah, I think it's, yeah. Oh, I can comment now. So how, how if we're not friends, how, how did you land up on my page? <laughs> No, I just saw some videos. Nah, nah. 
some friends of mine were sharing. Oh, uh, so it was gossip. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> see you, brother. We see you. Where, where are you from? I'm from South Africa. Yeah, I like your locks, man. I wish I had long hair like you. Oh, thank you. Ah, uh, it's still growing. Uh, uh, how, it's how not where you, I wanted to be. Uh, how do you take care of that? Uh, I use some product and uh, this hair food stuff. Yes. It sounds it sounds like expensive, you know. It sounds expensive to take your hair. No, <laughs> it's twenty something rands. It's very oh. cheap, very cheap stuff. Uh, twenty twenty rands for me yeah. is a lot of money, you know. But anyway, do you, so, <laughs> so 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 do you go to church? You know, what, what do you do? Yeah, yeah, I do. I do go to church. You, you save in but, church. Uh, you are a pastor. To be honest, yeah. Tell me. Uh, yeah, I was saving in church, but and, and currently, uh, you know <laughs> when <laughs> when the, the, there's a lot of things happening, you know, and um with this lockdown and, and so yeah and then you listen to everything yeah, like you I just see. look at everything and then you make your conclusion you know so your eyes are so, opening bit by bit uh, let's just say ah uh, yeah maybe i can say that yeah so if if i was to ask you a question would you say lockdown was a bad thing or was a blessing in disguise? Based on uh, the statement you made that the lock, the lock. Hi, can you? Hear me? Hello. Yeah, it's back now. Ish, my network was poor. Okay, so I'm saying, uh, based on the statement you just made to me there, would you say that lockdown uh, was a blessing in disguise, or you say it was a bad thing altogether? Which one? What would you say? Because, you know, hearing from many people, they say, if we, we had not gone in lockdown, we wouldn't have found out yeah. a lot of things that we did find out. I mean, like, they, there was a lot of drama in in, um, in, in in all angles, in both worlds, you know, in the Christian community and then just the world as, uh, uh, as a whole. So what would you say? That lockdown was a blessing in disguise or what, what was it? Yeah, I can say that because, like, um, it gave us, you know, time for introspection. Time to think. Now, so this is yeah. um, this is very crucial what you say, because a lot of people has just been going to church and things like that. They never get time to really think to process the information that they get. Um, yeah, which which makes them spiritual zombies, if you like to say, or just <laughs> makes them unreasoning people. It's like people get to the door of the church and they leave their their brains behind. But you know, you know what? I uh, I I I raised the point, you know, on our recent uh, broadcast we did on True Talk uh, on Amaze TV, and I mentioned something like, yes. God yes. never. God is never going to to use you in the absence of your mind. Do you get what I'm saying? Like even the Bible yes, says, yes. Um, be you transformed by the renewal of the mind. So where, where there is yes. no mind, there's no transformation. So you can't kick off your mind and say, you know what, the mind is not part of spirituality. It is actually the place where everything yeah, happens. Yeah, exactly. Every battle, everything that happens in your life is in the mind. Mm. You know, that's why even the Bible says, as a man thinketh, so he is. So is he, yes. Yeah, you, you, get me, you get what I'm trying to say. People never ask this question. Yeah, I get like, it. Um, 
you know you see like people always looking for deliverance everything they just think there's always something wrong with them uh, they need to be prayed for you know they need to find a powerful pastor and if you if you really get down to it you realize it's just the mind because the same pastor have no records of where he was delivered himself do you get what i'm saying <laughs> he has no records of where he went himself and got prayed for all right and 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 if you realize like right now what we are noticing in this current um affairs of the church is that most pastors are actually doing the most more than a norm, an average church member in fact they are doing more than uh, the most more than uh, a drug dealer on the street you <laughs> gave me like <laughs> i'm telling you i'm telling you and then there is this notion of coming on and um and uh just branding everyone an enemy and whatever a- anyone who bring constructive criticism is not an enemy you know my brother if i see yes, you playing yeah. with fire if i see you playing with fire and i leave you do you get me it's it, it's not a good thing mm. and then but then if i come and tell you like ah you know what you're going to burn your hands then you tell me like i'm an enemy then that's that's stupid so that's what we see now people just think anyone who says the truth they're an enemy uh someone is bought them someone is mm. paying them behind okay prove it that that person is being paid behind don't just talk about it do you get what i'm saying prove it yeah that's always you know? like what i look at like even like whenever i have an argument with someone like or we disagree on something i check the i try to sense the energy like where is this response coming from like are we being mm-hmm. constructive or they just want or to just stay ignorant time. so because i mm. i tell you what we have become like african politics it's like you know african politics is like you are for or you are against do you get me it's it's not about policy it's not mm. about um Uh, progress it's not about a uh, good ideas it's all about who you are for or you are against you get me but you know what the similar <laughs> thing kind of like happened during the time of uh, paul and apollos and then that's when paul came and addressed it and he was like you know what because there were, there were guys who were saying i'm for paul i'm for this i'm for this i'm for that but the idea of the gospel is mm. you know christ is the foundation christ is solid he is is the main guy all of us we just servants you get what i'm saying mm. so um yes. this working of um everyone trying to build relevance and things like that is just stupid and this whole thing of oh you can't you can't question a thing it's also stupid again you know you are listening mm. to someone mm. who who tells you like okay they speak to god okay and then they question god about everything but you can't question them about something it doesn't make sense where do they get the audacity to question god but they deny you the 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 the, the chance to question them but <laughs> not me doesn't make sense uh hey, she, but you know yeah, exactly if, if you look at people like me you know like just on this broadcast i want to say something if there's anyone out there who thinks i'm yes. here fighting anyone and stuff like that that's a lie you might need to look into that again maybe that person you're thinking in your head is fighting me okay depending on your reasoning capacity so my brother right now you are in your house isn't it hello yes you're sitting in your house right now hello if someone comes if someone comes in your house yeah, a, uh, right now and then take your shoes okay and take your shoes who who's who's fighting who you sitting in your house with the person who came to take your shoes which one the one who offended me the one who came and took my my stuff exactly so if a pastor offend me and come in my house and 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 commit an offense so am i fighting the pastor or the pastor is fighting me help me understand sorry you say if a, if if a pastor comes in my house and commit an offense in my house okay 
Who's fighting? Or is it me fighting the pastor or the pastor came to fight me? Which one? Uh, obvious. It's still the same. <laughs> we use the same judgment. <laughs> Nothing you see changes. what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? So, yes. And I just want to urge a lot of Christians, start using your mind. Don't put it to bed. Don't don't lay off your mind. It's an instrument, you know. That's 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 the weapon God has given mm-hmm. you to strategize, to plan, to advance. That is also the same thing that God has given you to build a defense around yourself. So don't put off your mind thinking spiritual. Yeah. It's not um, what you are thinking. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And what you said, like. You showed an example, like with politics, how like it's not about policies, how we don't really look into things. So I just feel like in 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 every situation, like we should be able to weigh our options. What exactly. is the other party saying? <laughs> like I must exactly. listen to everyone, and then I choose my truth. You choose your truth, so. You know, listen to someone who comes here and say, block this person and this and that and that. So my earphones, I think they're going now. Let me see. Um, yeah, I don't think it should be like that. You know, someone comes to you and they are now thinking for you now. So who are you? What are you left with? Don't be an uh, idol, uh, a Christian, you know, the one that doesn't think. That's why right now in the... Now in the real world, we don't have Christians in the in in the leading in politics. Do you get what I'm saying? Because mm. it, it sounds like our ideas only work around the offering basket and and, and the chairs in chairs. They can't work <laughs> elsewhere. So, who would want to be part of Christianity if we look like that? You see what I'm saying? I mean, even Jesus said that. Yeah, if you don't no one will want to be part of it. Jesus said that if you don't understand the world okay the visible world how can i even tell you about the things in heaven you don't even and you know like some people want to travel some people are already looking mm. forward to rapture okay no problem you are looking forward to rapture you have never bought a ticket to travel to another country do you, do you see what i'm saying you're looking forward to heaven you've never seen it okay but you have never traveled to the next city just in your own country Maybe you you live in Johannesburg and you yeah. went to Eastern Cape. Um, you never went to another city in uh, in South Africa. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense. But your pastor is always going on holidays. That, that makes a lot of sense for me. Yeah, yeah. Your pastor goes for holidays for you, but he tells you to look forward to rapture. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are raising, yeah, you are really showing examples. <laughs> or, or your pastor tells you, like, oh, it's not about the sh- material things. Let's look up to the, 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 the uh, 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 spiritual things, the things above, not things. Like, and, then, and then the next thing is buying a Rolls Royce. Wow. Pastor, you don't need a Rolls Royce. You say we should look into things that are above, things, not things on earth. What's going on with the Rolls Royce? You see, so some some of these things you don't even need to be spiritual. You just need to think a little bit. <laughs> no, the com- we need the comfort also. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm telling you, my brother. If, yes. if you have the money to buy something, buy it so that uh, you know rapture will come while you are in that thing. Don't be told nonsense. You know, if rapture is coming, you know, <laughs> if it is. Okay, for an example, yes. why, why would the pastor have investments when the rapture is happening in three years? What does he need investments for? For what? Are you, are you getting what I'm saying? No, Ish, I couldn't hear you. Can you hear me now? It was Ish, because of my... Yeah, I can hear you now. I was saying, why would the pastor have investments when rapture is happening in three years 
if a pastor tells you rapture, rapture is happening in three years, why does he need investments for? <laughs> <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Something to fall back on in case things go south. <laughs> in case God changes his mind. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I must leave the broadcast now. Anyway, my brother, thank you so much Because, for joining. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. No problem. Okay. Is anyone ready? Just one more person and I'll be going. Um, let's discuss. Let's hear your views. You know, just minor things you know dialogue is important it brings a lot of stuff you know in many ways dialogue um opens your eyes it uh, it uh, the eyes of your understanding where there is no dialogue you can never never get to see certain things certain things are happening to a lot of people because they avoid dialogue especially the current christian dispensation it doesn't like dialogue people don't like to discuss when you discuss something people feel attacked but they, it's not an attack it's, it's simply uh discussing you see what i'm saying um so if you if you if you hate dialogue i tell you what you're just an enemy of yourself you know you are an enemy of yourself and i can see a lot of people here they like what i say and then they are scared to come on camera amazing <clears throat> like okay guys you know today i'm in in a good mood you know <clears throat> very good mood god is amazing and uh, god is taking care of the business okay okay i'm looking for someone anyone you don't have to know me you just need to be cool and uh, okay 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 <clears throat> Okay. Hey, Hi. good people. Hi. I don't know if you can see us. I can see you. You you're looking Hi, Ashton. How are you guys? Yeah. Oh, you're beautiful. How people. are you? Is, is that a girl? Is that a girl or boy? Oh, thank you. Yeah, a girl. <laughs> Uh okay so I you know I have a son and he's very very handsome I mean we can we can arrange something <laughs> <laughs> Yeah we saw your son's picture he's oh, oh he's handsome I'm telling you you never regret I mean now I'll, I'll make sure everything <laughs> you know aligns up <laughs> So so you guys where 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 are you from you are from which country Uh, we are in the UK. Um, oh, I'm originally from Zimbabwe. Yeah. Which, yeah. which, which part of the UK? Uh, Leeds. I'm in the UK, but I don't want to disclose my location. My enemies. Your location. <laughs> we understand. <laughs> but I'm, 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 I'm somewhere close to there. I'm somewhere close. Is there? So you guys, you you go to church? You have a church here in UK, or like you know, do you go to church, or you used to go to church? Which one? Um, <laughs> yeah, continue. Yeah, so, so basically, we used to. Oh, it's a long story. So we used to go to this church. I don't know, maybe you've heard about it, but it's quite quiet. That one is called Lighthouse. You don't I don't know if you've heard about. It. Just give me a minute. Let me get my charger. Okay. <laughs> uh. Okay, hold, hold it. I'm coming. Okay. The lighting is a bit. Okay, my least people, I'm back. Ah, oh, welcome back. Welcome back. 
Yeah. Is it okay? Oh, what? I was, I was, yeah. So you guys, you speak Shona, right? I speak Shona. My husband is from Ghana, so he doesn't. So, so what language you speak? Ga. You speak Ga. Is it Ga? Uh, yeah, I speak Ga in Q. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. Anyway, I speak. I speak Shona. So that's in my Nero Kanaka. Ah, uh, my Nero. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't know what it means. It means beautiful people, I guess. So you were saying, yeah. no, I don't want you to say the name of the church you were going to. I just I just want you to tell me you're going to church. Because you know? if ah, you say okay. the name, then they'll be like, oh, you know, you see, they are here to attack us. Christians, stop it. Christians, this will stop being defensive and face the truth. Yeah. Do you know honest mm -hmm. conversations don't destroy anything? Sometimes mm -hmm. relationships are, are are made stronger by approaching truth as it is. Mm -hmm. But Precisely. The, the Christians we have, anytime you bring a certain conversation, or you are against us, you are fighting. Fighting what? That's so true. Fighting yeah. what? Uh, a good yeah. man of God uh, said said one thing powerful. He said, "There is no man of God who's worth fighting." Mm. as long as he's a man of God he's not worth fighting but should mm -hmm. we keep quiet why our families are being abused should we keep quiet why our daughters, our sons are being misled mm -hmm. should we keep quiet mm -hmm. in the name of what what exactly are we mm -hmm. protecting mm -hmm. do you see what That's I'm saying yeah. Um, yeah. personally I never used to come and do all these live videos and whatever but I think when I'm done dealing with my issues, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. going to start something, a platform where people can come and speak freely and hear truth freely. You mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. Because any yeah. gospel that doesn't give you liberty is not gospel. Any gospel that leaves you in fear is not gospel. It's mm. not a gospel. Any gospel. So anyone say anything to you saying that they are preaching the gospel and put you in fear, they are not preaching the gospel to you. That's true. That's you true. already That's true. know that God is not involved. When you speak mm -hmm. to a man of God and you feel liberated after speaking to them, you know you spoke to a man of God. But in these days, it's like, oh, you can't even, you, you know, like if your, 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 your spiritual father wears an ugly mm -hmm. shoe and then in your opinion, you think it's an ugly shoe. Some of them, they even make you feel like you're going to be cursed because you think that the shoe is ugly. It's just ugly. It's not yeah. Ugly. You know? Mm. So, yeah. So you guys, where are you at right now? What's your understanding with what's going on in the church? Is there, is there something you would like people watching now to, um, you know, what's, what's your experience so far with, you know, is there things that you guys are comfortable to talk about? Or things that you well, find funny that you are looking for clarity. Is there anything at all? So basically, like with yeah. your situation, yeah. like when we um, first started watching, I think I saw it on what page? I think I saw an ugly truth, yeah. and then yeah, yeah, somebody tagged you, and then I saw like yeah. So I just obviously knew what it's about because we've been there, like, but we've never, we've never been like. Yeah. Close like that. I think we just came twice. We or came something. twice to, to to your place. Yeah. And then um <laughs> or to, to the place to that place. Yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. 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 London. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh huh. So so what was your experience when you? Came uh, the phone is place? like buffering. Yeah, it's buffering. So is, my... is it my battery dying or yours? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh. -uh. Hello. Hello. Is it better? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Can you hear us? So you're okay? Yeah. I can hear yeah. you clearly. Clearly. Uh -huh. Yeah. So so basically when we came and when we were there, I think, yeah, I was just sensing certain stuff, but I was thinking that's just me being judgmental or something like that. But then the after that. To you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, I was rebuking myself in my head, like, and bring me forward and <laughs> and start ah. <laughs> saying all sorts. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know but what? then, mm -hmm. go on. 
yeah but then we left my husband he was prophesied to by uh, the little one yeah okay the no kids. names please no names no names okay <laughs> Yeah, so then we realized later that, okay, maybe it was not a prophecy after all. So when we left anyway, um, Wait, uh, the before Lord... You go, before you go further, what made you think it was not what you thought it was? Well, it, it, was, it was just shallow. Uh, he he we went like, mm -hmm. I can see K. Mm -hmm. Basically, mm -hmm. when we came, we filled a form. <laughs> I wrote my name, yeah. and obviously my name started with K. Wait, so you so, feel you feel the form before the service yeah. started? Yeah, yeah we, we, we were there twice. twice. The first time we filled the form. But, and so who, the second who, time was the prophecy. Who did you give this? Uh, this oh, some lady. I, I can yeah. recognize her, yeah. but well, I don't well, know. Uh, one lanky lady. <laughs> right? but, yeah, but I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't know the name. Know. Yeah. And, and so when, when you filled the form, did you receive a phone call or anything like that that you felt like was an interview or anything? Uh, not like an interview yeah. as such, but we were always receiving phone yeah, calls, we're always right? Receiving but phone the calls. thing is, yeah. uh, what he spoke about in the prophecy, um, like about you, God using you and everything. Like basically with my husband, we have like this online ministry as well. So he's on Facebook and he preaches there. Yeah, so obviously, if you search my name, because he's not on Facebook, with his name, it just comes close. Like, I don't know how to describe yeah, yeah, it, yeah. but when we put two and two together, basically, the thing was researched. <laughs> <laughs> I beg to differ. Yeah, I don't know, but it was researched. So I had a dream when we left, and then the Lord was just saying no to God there. And everything that you're talking about now, he showed me. But I was like on watching him still you know when he would go live and everything mm. but i was feeling some type of way and i was i told my husband and it's like so why are you still watching let's leave it rah, 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 rah. and then we have our own story too you know that thing uh oh how would online. i say it online give online p p partnership yeah i don't yeah, want to say something that really. circle right there's something a circle, circle that you go into okay do you mind if we mention it? yeah <laughs> okay if we mention people will get it it's, yeah. called, it's called prophetic circle uh, right people will get it. Uh, okay. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> okay i get it i get it i get it yeah get so it. basically we we paid we, we partnered with, with that yeah, that's 600 we like, oh, pounds right this is each a, month. yeah we mm -hmm. were like this is a person of the lord so, blah, so, blah, blah, blah. So, so that thing you're talking about you guys is it is it what like you have direct contact well, well what is it all about well you know tell me no, it's that thing, you know, when he's online doing the missions, whatever it is. Mm. And then I think in on one of them, he was saying that, oh, if you want to uh, give uh, towards the work of the Lord, <laughs> what the Lord mm. is doing. And uh, I think he mentioned um, there's one, the later, the, there's different tiers. Yeah. But the latest one is like a, something circle. So if you're in that, if you pay that month, that much per that month you will get to speak to him so we wanted to talk to him because we wanted to question him on the prophecies given to my husband you know so we wanted to question him on that like and ask questions because we didn't get an opportunity to do that when we were over there yeah. so that's the reason we did that but then we never we were always receiving emails from the yeah. person whose name is like a bank or something like that we're always <laughs> receiving emails from them <laughs> but they never like he never rang us and then nothing so we were about to continue giving and then my husband is like no let's not do that this man is not consistent and that's what we've noticed about him is not consistent so we picked up that he lies a lot and we were like he doesn't know us from adam and if he can just like um if he can just like what's it called collect our money basically just steal our money in broad daylight and he doesn't know who we are then wait. that means there's more wait yeah <clears throat> i like something you you mentioned there but it reminds me there's a brother of yeah. mine um i will not mention his name <laughs> no names <Okay. laughs> <clears throat> but <clears throat> he spoke to me on the phone he said to me mm -hmm. Just think of it this way. If someone mm. cannot respect your woman or your mm. daughter, yeah, that they go extra and do things they are not meant to be doing, violate uh, a woman or anything like that. <clears throat> yeah. He said to me, now think about it 
as money. Money is a um, non-responding object, if you know, if, if mm. I were to describe it as an object. Yeah. Money doesn't cry. It doesn't have emotions. Mm. So think about what they're going to do to something that have no emotions, something that can come and expose them later. If they have mm. the audacity to touch something with emotions, something that can actually speak for itself. Do you, do you get mm. what I'm saying? Yeah. So sometimes yeah. I, I really think the litmus test to know that your money is not safe is when you can look at someone and how they treat a human being. Money mm. is actually like the, the, your money, they don't even think about it. Mm. You know, um, we shouldn't ignore that. The, you know, I don't want to talk too much about money in this stuff because I also like money. Um, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I just I, I just, want, to yeah, survive, I just right? wanted to emphasize. I just wanted to emphasize yeah, on that important. point to say, mm. if someone can't mm -hmm. respect a couple, yeah. okay, how are they going to respect mm -hmm. the money from that couple? And you spoke yeah. about something yeah. about inconsistency. If we talk about the office mm. of a pastor, the office of a pastor is nurturing people. That's what you're supposed to be. You, you should be yeah. there for people. You understand hospitality is one of the yeah. things that you should yeah. be invested in. Mm -hmm. And most people feel mm -hmm. detached. You know, our pastors now are like celebrities. You know what I'm saying? If your pastor greets you, you yes. don't even have to cry. It shouldn't be like that. Yeah. It shouldn't be like yeah. that. <laughs> it shouldn't. It shouldn't. So anyway, a pastor cut, is supposed to be the greatest on. servant. Yeah, I cut you on the middle. You were, you were saying something. You can carry on. Yeah. So so we just noticed that this guy is inconsistent mm -hmm. and everything and with what the Lord. And then he kept on, you know, like the Lord. And I realized like with that guy. Yeah. I'm sorry mm -hmm. to call him a guy, but yeah. Like I, he, I, he I, always. I support you because. I was sitting just 40 minutes ago on my own, and then I started having a headache. I was like, I don't even know what to call it, but yeah, go on. Mm -hmm. So, like, he's always discouraging, like, on his broadcast, like, people from having dreams. He says it's immature and everything, but I realized that he does that because he knows that the Lord is going to reveal to his people because get, God cares for his people. So he's going to tell them what you're doing in secret. So he's going to tell his people like, no, I'm not here. Don't go there. So I think that's why he discourages that. So I was getting a lot of dreams, but I was starting to think, oh, maybe it's just me. Maybe I've heard something, maybe this or whatever. And it was, yeah, it was, um, terrible terrible dreams but then everything now when you came out and what you're saying and i think the other um somebody from south africa is also saying something i'm like oh i don't know about anybody else but i know that what the lord said about this guy in particular yeah. and what you're saying is so true the lord cannot lie and you're saying everything that he said and i don't i don't know you i don't know him like that do you get me and but trust yeah. me, I, I know him like that. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but you know, you know, the, the thing with people is there is no way in a million years, you know, in mm. a million years, there's no way you would have seen me come on social media to express mm. my pain. Mm. Okay. Mm. I, I should also say <clears throat> there are many things that I like about the person. Mm. Um, so many, uh, yeah, so many that probably I did benefit from. Mm. But I, I would also say to you at the same time that uh, there are things I will never trade. I I want people mm. to catch where I'm coming from. Yeah, <clears throat> there are things I will never trade. Mm. There are things that mm. when when people can I please a small share? <clears throat> there are things that when, when, when people touch in your life yeah. and then they just come and say, oh, just let it pass like it's nothing. It just doesn't happen like that. No, it Do was you know, an agreement. My brother, mm -hmm. I don't know you have you have a daughter or you have, you have yeah. is it the only two daughters? <laughs> two daughters. No, we have three. three. We have three. The other ones are running around. <laughs> Let's say yeah. you, you had the son, okay? Yeah. You know, your son okay. can't eat in the same plate with you, you know, no matter how much you love your son, right? In the culture, right? Uh, African in our culture, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. If I see you grabbing your son's plate, 
okay? Mm. And then you make it yours. Then then something is wrong with you, my brother. <laughs> you do not eat <laughs> your true. you don't eat mm. your uh, son's dinner and then you say, Oh, daddy wants it more than you. Okay, we'll fix you later. Mm. You don't do that. <laughs> I hope people Spot. are catching what mm. I'm saying be, behind yeah. this parable. Mm. Totally, yeah. You know, totally. it took me so mm. much time to get, gather the courage that I have currently. Mm. When I say I was shattered, you know, like gone, that's, that's, yeah. do you see what I'm saying? But yeah. anyway, the world will get to hear <clears throat> more about this mm. because as for me, I'm not mm. keeping quiet. Mm. I don't care yeah. um, what's mm. coming at me, whatever. I think I'm bold enough. I just want to show people that, you see, God is not going to kill you because someone came and violated your house and then yeah. you you stood up to it. God won't kill you for that. Mm -hmm. I mean, That's so it, true. It just makes God unjust, if you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, like look at people. And God, is, God always defends like yeah. the defenseless, the people who are weak and everything. So that's not God. So every time they are saying, "Oh, touch not the anointed or whatever," like God will touch you mm -hmm. if you are abusing the little ones. You know, mm -hmm. God will touch you Himself. Mm -hmm. So that's that's just uh, they're just like narcissists, like people who just want to continue in their abuse mm -hmm. and everything. So. I would say like, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you are, you are relentless and you're bold. I would say keep going for it. You know, don't let no one stop you. Don't let them buy you over. No, no, I, I, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. I tell you what, I tell you what. We, you can, we will bring a movement. We, yeah. Yeah, the movement is coming. We will bring a movement mm -hmm. where all these victims for people like this will... Um, yeah. Uh, will come out and have their voice because there's so many people shattered in fear. Everything mm. that they had, the integrity, their dignity is taken away from them. We cannot mm. watch things like this keep going and keep going. Of course, mm. you know, like, if you watch that person, every time anyone is fighting them, oh, this person is fighting me, oh, this person is fighting me, they're always crying. For yeah. me. I don't <laughs> understand it. It's like a yeah. big kid with tantrum, you know, a, a, mm -hmm. a 40 something year old uh, kid with tantrums nothing yeah. that has yeah. ever been seen before so mm -hmm. I commend you for your courage guys let me tell you this you know just to encourage you before I let you go mm. <clears throat> you know the impact we make for God okay mm. don't try to measure it with someone else Mm -hmm. Do the little you can in that moment. The problem with a mm -hmm. lot of people, we are looking for this spotlight. We want to be this big. So we end up falling in That's the true. wrong hands. Do you understand? And then That's we get true. taken yeah. advantage of. If you yeah. can afford to live in a house for 1,000 pounds, live in your house for 1,000 pounds, you can be happy there. You'd be That's surprised. True. You're actually more happy than the other person. Trust me, they have too many problems. Mm -hmm. Mm. Okay, mm. the problems might not be yeah. financial, but they, they are problems. They are definitely mm. problems. So, you mm -hmm. guys carry on with the work of God and, and men mm. of God. Never allow any man of God to speak to your woman. Never. Doesn't matter who they are. Never. Don't. Mm. <laughs> do it. Take it from me. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Thank Don't you. do it. Yeah from where we are coming from actually so they tried that like we left it was like a sort of it's like they all have the same behavior the same it's like trait, a couch yeah. it's yeah. like a couch trait mm -hmm. so they were trying that with me etc my husband like did a video like blasted all of them and now they don't talk to us they told everyone not to talk to us and even my no own problem. my own dad doesn't talk to us anymore but you know what we are okay with it because we know we are standing with god for god and whoever stands with god can never be ashamed can never uh, be put to shame so we are all right mm -hmm. so yeah I, I, yeah, mean, we like I, I mean you mentioned something so so uh so important there is the same behavior. It's like, don't talk to this person. Don't talk to that yes. person. Yeah. Don't talk to that yeah. person. But you know, anytime yeah. in my own, my own self, when I'm told, don't speak to this person, I'm trying to find out why, why is that person being blocked from me? What is it that I yeah. would have learned from that person? That's being from blocked that person. 
Mm-hmm. Because certain things you just don't learn in a positive way. Even from the negative people, you can learn something. You mm. know? So, uh, there is this thing. It's like if they can't get by her consenting to it, they're going to use <clears throat> the submission uh, a trigger. If they can't get mm. you with the submission trigger, then that's when they can rape you. Mm. So, please, people, protect your daughters, protect your mm-hmm. your families. Families are important. Mm-hmm. Women, they hold destinies. We should protect mm-hmm. our women. Okay? Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. Women have to be respected. They mm-hmm. have to be respected. They are not objects. You know, yes. you can't just uh, 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 say to a woman, bend down, this and this, and then the next thing you say, mm-hmm. clean up. What nonsense is that? Wow. <laughs> I mean, like, mm-hmm. you know, we don't want to go deep into this conversation. But even the people yeah. in the world, they know that a woman needs time to be ready. You don't have yeah. time to get a woman ready. You are crazy like that. Wow. wow. So, That's you know what? I, I, I want to tell you the truth. I'm myself. I'm not coming out here for people to call me men of God. What, what, that. No, yeah. forget it. I'll tell mm-hmm. you the truth. I am one of those guys who's going to come here and tell the truth as it is. And then you're yeah, gonna so we like hear that. Yeah, exactly. You're gonna mm-hmm. hear people say their stories, you're gonna be like, What the heck is going on? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm excited to say that. Because yes. I feel like this mm-hmm. is uh this is time, like you know, this is a new decade, like you can't carry on like this. I'm sure that no. Because some people will be like, oh, you know what, do it privately. But, you know, sometimes it is the love of God because God would have tried to reach out to, to, to him, reach out to these people, but they are not changing. They've gone to that place where it's like they feel like they will lose a lot if they change. So it's the love of God to expose it. Yeah, so that you are you are you are shamed and That's that true. can change you. Or if if there's some criminal activity, so that some t- yeah, you spend yeah you spend some time uh, you, you do some time maybe it will help uh, to save the soul. Right? It says what? What's that scripture like? Uh, he sold to the devil, like put him to the devil. Oh, gosh. yeah, he delivered him. First Corinthians chapter five. Yeah. So I think sometimes it's important. Mm. So don't listen to people that will try and be like, oh, you know what? Don't do it. Don't say nothing. You're, you're a believer. We don't expose each other. People are not going to believe in the mm. Lord because of that. People are not believing in the Lord because of what these people have been practicing for a long, long, long time. And there is a God in heaven and he's, he can't keep quiet anymore because pe- these people are going, these women are going to him crying, you know, in pain. It's trauma. Like I've been through... <laughs> Not mm-hmm. from this guy, but from a young age, uh, I've been through that s- situation of um, of rape. Okay. You know, I've been through that. So <laughs> it touches me on a different kind of level. Yeah. So when I started watching you, I'm like, you know what? He should keep going. I was like to my husband, I hope he won't just keep quiet. You know, I hope they're not gonna silence well, him. Like you have to keep going. But you know the pro- yeah. the problem with most people is, um, mm. as they can see that I'm coming to speak out then then mm. the, the victims that i actually know instead of supporting okay mm. whatever i'm trying to start here you can actually mm. see like they are still like in their shell or they get some little something somewhere and then they go back into <clears throat> mm. okay i have so many people here they'll be ashamed if one day i'll bless them trust me <laughs> i'm gonna mm. say your names you know, um, yeah, I'll say names. My husband will be I'll like, say, say the names. <laughs> I'll say them. Yeah. But this is going too far. It's going too far. It, it's too you know far, what? honestly. You, you hear some of the language that come out of the mouth of a man of God, okay? Mm. Mm. And the things mm. that, the, the, what hurts me is that the person goes on stage and then act like, you know, they, they are not even like part of that. Yeah, they are saying mm-hmm. one you thing and then they are completely the opposite every single time. You mm. know, there are people who lie and there are people who are mm. lies. Okay, there are people mm. who lie and there are people who are, are lies. It's who they are. Mm. Yeah, like you yeah. can see that this one is the product of the devil. Him and the devil is mm-hmm. just like the same thing, like this. Mm. 
Like, yeah. Mm. Okay, so me because even scared. even the last time you're of your father, the devil, mm. he's been a liar from the beginning. So if you are constantly lying, 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 you can't be from God. That's then not. Definitely. It's not mm. possible. It's it, people can make mistakes. You can <laughs> not do one white lie or the other, but to make it like habitual, <laughs> like a constant thing, that means that you're not. Uh, your source is not God anymore. Like it's obviously the devil. Mm. I, I wanna announce something before you guys go. Uh, just this mm. last thing. Yeah. I'm talking to you young people who are on this uh, broadcast or so whoever is going to come across it. Mm. I know people want relationships that um, fancy yeah. relationships yeah. that um, mm. financially backed up, <clears throat> relationships mm. that look godly. Mm. But you should be careful who you desire because sometimes so. You know, I put up a post the other day. I said I went to this place uh, owned by Chef, Chef Gordon Ramsay in London called Petras. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you know, like on TV when they're doing their, their series with Chef Gordon Ramsay, you see him mm -hmm. shouting at people in the kitchen and yeah. you know, doing all this stuff. So when I went there, yeah. I was expecting to see that happening there. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I sat in that restaurant for four hours. Four good hours. Yeah. <clears throat> I mm. did not oh, see sorry. anyone yelling at anybody. It was so peaceful. Wow. Now, and then what I discovered is some people are mm. just good actors, okay? Mm. What you see on TV remains on TV. Mm. So someone mm. can come and hear say, ah, this and this and this and this on TV, but behind the scenes they are trying to cover up their tricks. Trust me, it yeah. is not what they say. They are. Mm. Believe me mm. on that one. 100%. So, 100%. I think, yeah, yeah, I think yeah. uh, as Christians, what we need to move away from is personalities. Mm. We like personalities too much that we are blinded. Mm. <clears throat> yeah. Just because yeah. I wear a suit doesn't mean I'm a pastor, okay? Doesn't mean that. Mm -hmm. Anyone can wear a suit and they can wear it nice, nicer. Yeah. Mm. So we, we, <clears throat> we should start looking into everything and questioning every little thing you're right mm. yeah i just want to drop a bomb one mm. time one general came to me and say can i test mm. your woman this one what? i just want to say this one just that one what i was young okay that time wow. i was young i was 20 or something <clears throat> yeah i said uh yeah go on um because I'm thinking spirituality here. <laughs> mm. Wow. That's crazy. I just drop a bomb. Anyway, the rest will come later. <laughs> so. mm. we, we are looking forward to... Uh, the yeah, when is the documentary. documentary coming? Don't worry about that. Um, you know, <laughs> I'm not disclosing anything. Now I just came to gossip. I'm here for gossip, people. I just want to catch up with you. <laughs> We want to know. We want to watch. We are looking forward to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. I'll catch up with you later on. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. How do you go? How do we go? I don't even know myself. You know, I'm trying to find out. From <laughs> you close this? Oh yeah, I think we closed that. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> okay, guys. Actually, I said one more person, but I don't think I want one more person. I'm kind of enjoying this thing. How come I didn't know about Facebook Live? Okay, who else wants to? If you want to come on camera, just, you know, request and I'll bring you. Okay. Well, I understand some people have data problems or whatever it is. Yeah. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, guys, you know, sorry about my voice. Not my voice, me clearing my throat, rather. Okay. Hey, Mr. David Malcolm, how are you? Good to see you. In another thing I wanted to say, just because we don't agree on certain things, okay, 
doesn't mean we are enemies guys all right doesn't mean we are enemies um doesn't mean we are enemies so don't try to bring enmity just because our views are slightly different are slightly different and that's a problem with a lot of people you know you are killing yourself i used to be like that and uh, i think i've learned the hard way now <clears throat> now i'm paying for my sins hello Ashley. did i br- it looks like you brought it I- back oh sorry 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 yes. sorry about that Okay, 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 it's okay. Um, you know, I had to learn the, the, the hardest way simply because <clears throat> sometimes you are, you are defensive over <clears throat> things that you're supposed to be questioning. You need to question every little thing because when you don't bring questions forward, you never get the answers of the things that you need to be. Uh, getting answers for okay so i just need about one more person one more interesting you don't have to be boring cuz i'm not looking for that <clears throat> one more person watching from Botswana <clears throat> so Africans you need to special Africans you need to wake up you know someone can just come and tell you oh you know this is just listen every time don't don't be um um don't be don't be in a place where you just defending and defending and defending and defending In the end of the day you look at what are you really defending you don't know what you're defending <clears throat> okay because some things will take you by surprise and uh, when they So when some things take you by surprise that's when you want to learn but the the window for you to learn the things that you should have prepared yourself for you know it'd be too small for you and it's not everybody will be able to survive that it's like your faith my total issue just make sure that whatever you do is on the basis of the word of god by yourself first okay at least if anything goes wrong you know where to fall back on and then build build up again you understand it's not even for me it's not like i i i personally um didn't know about god or whatever but i do of course but you know sometimes you give people so much power into your life uh, because you place them in a you get me and then they they do something crazy and then you find yourself all right and and you know i almost became an unbeliever because of a believer and that's not a good thing that's not a good thing <clears throat> so i want one more person and then i go let's discuss people let's let's talk let's talk So yeah like like we were saying God is not going to kill you because you question something God does not kill you because you're offended by somebody There are some things you just listen but just listening to it you just something is wrong somewhere you understand um you just realize something is wrong somewhere That's good. (laughs) 
Yeah, this person here is saying that I learned the hard way to is laden my luleke. Okay. Try to add me. Let's hear your story. What happened to you? <laughs> Guys, I'm deleting this video straight uh, straight after. <clears throat> so I'm not leaving it here. I'm deleting straight after. I'm actually bored. I think this is this is another way for me to kill stress. And uh, if you are here as a spy, uh, I have two letters for you. F and U. Okay. Forgive you. I don't know what you're even spying on some people. Oh, <clears throat> guys, so there are no interesting people here. I just want one human being. Oh, my God. Evangelist Stanley, can you add me? Can you request and then I'll add you? <clears throat> this of the Zambian network is strong. You see, the, the problem with a lot of people, you, you don't believe in yourselves enough, okay? And then this is always causing problems for us when we do like that. We become vulnerable. Um, we, we start going to places where we're not supposed to be, you know. And most of the times I've learned now that... <clears throat> If people love you in your life, you don't have to try too hard, you know, so that you can bring them over and stuff like that. It's okay to do things for people you love, but don't do not do too much, okay? Because when, when you're doing too much, you know, that's when you start getting manipulated now because people now start uh, seeing some loopholes where they can come and use you. and Because you're trying to gain their favor. If people like you, they will like you anyway. You don't have to do too much. Just learn that, you know? Just learn that. Oh, I have to do this so that I can be liked. I have to do this. And some of you, you even forget that God sees everything. You, you begin to do too much so that men can see it. Because you are convinced that God resides in a man. He is not even anywhere to be found except through that person. And most of the problems that you go through, the same people go through the same problems. So what's wrong with you? you know? And you know, in life, um, there's this line that we grew up hearing that uh, prevention is better than cure. All right? Uh, Prevention is better than cure. Some of you, you like cure. So you like dipping yourself in the problems. And then you come out later via cure. What about just preventing it? We didn't tell you to say, leave where you are. No, that's not what we say. We're just saying, be careful. Do you know, there's certain things when people... You know what? I, I, I'm beginning to... Um, I'm beginning to think in this in this way. When people say things, no matter how small the thing is, you need to be attentive. Trust me. Because even when people are joking, they can actually tell you what they are really thinking. It can be in a joke, wrapped up in a joke. But then at the same time, they're actually telling you what they think. Okay? So you can have your your pastor, your bishop coming to you and then tell you like, 
or you know i'm just i requested this from you because i'm just testing you no it's a lie it's not testing you that's exactly what he's looking for that's exactly what he's looking for so the moment you show um the moment you give the first shot guess what then you're you're done you're done with you're done with and women don't be desperate so much because you know what like okay fine let's say i give you money okay let's say i i i give you um let's say i give you money how far would that money take you okay let's say i give you <clears throat> a position for something via something that position how far can it take you when you sleep are you sleeping in peace when you are alone what's going on in your mind it's true everybody want to be the powerful person maybe even me i want to be a powerful person as well but not at the expense of myself <clears throat> no 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 it's not happening that certain things we don't negotiate i've already said i can't you know i can't i can't the evangelist say you are opening our eyes men of god you know sometimes i'm not even opening your eyes these are things that you've been seeing every day you just living in denial you just don't want to see it is there is there it's just like right in front of you is it right in front of you is right in front of you i remember most of the 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 things that that was happening i was sort of like really happy um because i didn't see what was going on so like you see one side of the thing and then you are happy like wow and then you make it a testimony you're telling it everywhere you just say this and this and that and then boom it just it hits you and uh, uh, surprising you know and i'm prepared i'm prepared and shout out to all you my friends who left me in this time <laughs> it is well in fact you were never friends i now see you for you were you were snakes and some of you even at the odessit even until now to be trying to prevent truth from coming up you you actually wonder what what is in the human heart really like seriously seriously the blood of your own friend what is it worth to you well, what is it worth to you it has become so dangerous to be in the presence of men of god than to be to be chilling with arm robbers very dangerous you can't even trust them with a little daughter of yours you can't even bring your daughters to church you can't and then when you come out and you say something like this oh you're fighting fighting what there's no fighting here it's just it's just what it is why can people not face truthful conversations truthful conversations you know it's just we're just being truthful that's what it is And then when you stay home like Emelda is saying when you stay home say oh it's a sin you know not to be found in the house of the god how beautiful it is for brethren to dwell together oh this is it. don't be like some who forsake the assembly of brethren they start quoting scriptures for you that if i show up to church then you you want to snatch my ass for what I came to worship I think it's not a strip club. Some people you can actually see like if they'd open a strip club they would have a good franchise than 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 having a church. So we have many branches of a strip club more than a church. 
they, they, they seem to know these things very well. You come, you say one thing, and then the next minute you have a lineup like this, lineup. And if you you would do these things to, um, let's say, people of your level, then we we'll say, ah, yeah, then, then understandable. But it's always the vulnerable. It's always the people who are desperate. Why, why desperate people? Go for the millionaire status women. Go for the 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 uh the middle class, the, the, the up who are way up there. Don't go for a girl who doesn't know where life is, never made a CV before, don't even have an email. Totally taking advantage of people. And for those that would have grown up and they're building their lives if they're young couples, leave them alone. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. How do you feel that if someone even talk about your own wife, just, just to talk about it, just to just say your wife, they've not said anything. You know, we, we know you. You know, you with tantrums. You are mad. I, you see, go and stop him. He's saying this. Why is he saying this? You can be, oh, I don't respond to people. You do. We see you. We see you. We see you. Even use a fake account to come and watch someone with 25 viewers. That's so pathetic. I have never seen anything like this before. You know, when I began to think about these things, I just said, like, I said, dear Lord, please help me. Help me have my mind a little bit stable so I can really think. Man, you know, you, you get to a point where you want to excuse someone by any reason. And then you just find that, like, any direction you want to pick with your mind, it's just, it does not make sense. It's unacceptable. And some of you claim falsely that you're building legacy for your children. You can never build a legacy for your kids when you are, when you are creating a very bad past for, you know, uh, that, that anytime they stand somewhere, someone is there standing to say, oh, your father did this. So if there is a presidential debate, your father did this. If it's a, um, a, a, P, a PM office that they are running for, your father did this. If they are public figure, your father was a pedophile. He was this, he was that, he was that. That's a very bad way to create a legacy. If you, if you ever want to create a legacy. Even if my biological father was to if I just step a little bit out of the line like this, trust me, from that day, I, I appreciate him being my father, but from that day, he's not my father. No, 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 no. You know what? Before, I would have been stupid, maybe, but now that even with my little boy, just, just seeing him there, I can, I can tell like, ah, no, no. You know, you begin to understand by being what being a father is. Do you get me? Of course, you grow in your understanding, in your wisdom, and everything. But um, you um, you begin to see like ah. So me judging by seeing my own son, and then judging on some some of these things that this person would want you to accept is like ah man, it doesn't it doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. Do you get me? And then some of them, they have the guts to tell you they love you like that. No, guys. So, you know, I'll tell you what, Christians, please use this, this, this thing. Use it. Someone can just come and create enemies. Some of you have never had beef with anybody, but you have so, so many enemies in your head. You're always fighting something you don't see. You're always fighting some, someone that you never met. You're always fighting. You don't know who Ashton is. Never met me before. All you do is like, oh, this, this is our enemy. This is our enemy. 
use your brains first and listen if you need to listen if you don't want to listen then just be gone out of the picture completely and this was i didn't take it serious until i really thought about it too much exactly exactly you know people give your time yourselves time to think okay give yourselves time to think really be in a, in a in a place where you you use some 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 sort of thinking don't sit on your brains don't sit on your brains for me i love being constructive i you know to be honest with you if this this was just about gossip and man i'll be bringing files after files after files about gossip but then it's is quite a bit sensitive thing because um i am caught up some way you get me because personally i'm affected by one of the things so and never was my intention anyway one day to just come out and begin to yeah 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 yeah, yeah. that's why until now no one knows what what really you see and don't believe what you know whatever you see on social media whether someone posted my picture somewhere on the page that you know and whatever i didn't contact them nobody speaks to me and you can go and verify for yourself i don't speak to them so these are people just taking their own you know um reaching their own conclusion when i speak you will know by details and dates and and specifics when i speak i i have not i have not and uh probably still considering whether whether is uh is is worth it do you get me is worth it i always tell people that you can help someone who rules Who, who wants to be helped you can't help someone who can't be helped some of you are so difficult even even to actually play a cctv for you to say this is it this is concrete you still say no okay so in closing guys you only have one person to blame for your life which is you all right you choose to ignore certain things don't ignore anything make sure your eyes are open your ears are open and your spirit is alert three things so peace will be catching up i don't know how to call this thing maybe we should call it something like uh, we will just come and talk now and then maybe once or twice a week or something like that afterwards when i'm okay we're going to set it properly proper uh proper cameras everything and you know proper team okay take a good people uh god bless your families in jesus name